straight up, beef. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I didn't mean it. I take it back. <laughs> All right, so before we get started, I'm gonna just do this whole wall with you guys. We already put this bottom on. You guys uh, have to be really, really careful to make sure that this hooks into that starter because we actually, I wanted to put it up to make sure that happened, and then sure enough, one of the guys didn't have it wholly, fully locked in, so we had to do a little thing. But I really want to show you guys this right here. So. This is how we're going to pull our numbers for that finisher right there. So go ahead and show them where that finisher is. All right, so there's probably five or ten different ways that you can get this number. But imagine that I've got two full pieces of siding here, just like we had right here. When we put them up, we put them up with about a, a finger's width in between, which is about three quarters of an inch, right? And they've got, they've got room to move, you know, these slots, even if you put it in the, in the center, only allows them to move so much anyway. But this will amount, allow for expansion and contraction, okay? So, the way I look at it, you've either, you've either got this or you've got this. So, when we're, when we're doing our siding and we're trying to figure out what a finisher should be, you can either guess all the way out here with this big number, which should be two and a quarter, or this difference here is an inch and a half and we want that other tab to come in right there in the center right without a finger you can use your finger for it or whatever you want but this is going to help because knowing that our number is going to be three quarters of an inch past there allows us to pull our our finisher like this one right here is uh i wrote down 14 inches boy cub wrote four, uh, 13 and three quarter but if i want to pull that number i'll be pulling from this right tab here. You can call it the lock tab, whatever you want to call it. But you just mark 14 and that's how you can get your numbers. All right. So if you look, all we did was, you know that you know that your tab is basically going to land right here, right? Which is three quarters of an inch to the, from this, from this edge of the shingle, or I'm sorry, the siding. So if you read that and it's 13 and a quarter, you know that your number is 14. So you just pull from this point because this is what we care about when we lock siding on is where this part lands. Then you have your number right there, boom. You never be wrong that way. So that's how I pull my numbers here. When we're doing gables, I will use this often or this mark more often than not. So that's a whole different thing for a different time. But the reason being, I don't have to pull here 14, square it all the way down and then start my angle for gables. You know what I mean? If I, if I pull and I add a two and three quarter or two and a quarter to this number, then, then I have that there. But like I said, that's a story for a different time. I don't mean to confuse anybody. So um, we're gonna get rolling. Sorry, plants. All right, so boy cub, uh, I'm going to cut our starter real quick. We're doing 30 inches. So, we don't have a 30 straighted yet, right? All right, let's go. Cool. finisher now do you see that another way to do it if you want is put this up and you could I don't have my pencil on me now but you can mark it right there I prefer just to do the numbers thing it is what it is though so I gave him that while he's nailing that on I could be getting this these other stair steps cut for this finisher depending on where we're at Hey, 
pays to have a nice, uh, either a grinder or a good set of like Melco snips. Because for these finishers over here, when we throw our, our starter down and our finisher over here, it could be easier to not have to take it to the saw or wherever you got your cut table set up. Uh, we had one set up, but I decided to use the chop saw instead of that grinder. Also, I didn't explain where you want to nail. You want to always want to nail in the center, and you want to not drive these home. You want it past this point because you don't want the other piece of siding. It starts to curve in at the bottom. You don't want these nails to start showing through in a year. After some sunlight hits it, you know, you always go for the center. You don't overdrive it. That's why they call it floating siding, so that we can put it on a crooked wall like this, and it looks perfectly straight. So I'm just adding three quarters of an inch to it. So you go to your smallest piece. So we got 43 and three quarter. And uh, pieces this size will be all we have on the it up as you nail some people push up really hard all we're really doing is we're uh we're just touching it you know making sure that it's up you know we're not forcing it there's still a little bit of space in there like a tiny bit um probably helps with the weep holes letting water out a little bit i don't think it's super important just don't be forcing it up you have to let them kind of relax they just need to be somewhat tight and you guys got to make sure everybody on the crew is on the same thing otherwise you get a bunch of waves in there Ah, crooked okay. You get a bunch of waves in your siding and you look down it. 
74 even from the right cab. If I'm cutting with a grinder, sometimes I'll just eyeball the mark down here. Makes it easier. Now I don't have to take out my square and I know I'm still getting a pretty square cut. Those can be used in between windows and doors and tiny spots. I don't really think we have any. Any left? shorties oh and we've obviously got a nice big wall here and solid solid enough wood to nail to if you guys don't have that if you're putting it up over blackboard or something you know that fiber insulation board you guys got to be marking out studs and and hitting studs this, this entire wall is basically a stud when you go over the old stuff and uh no i don't I don't think we really need to be using house wrap on something that's been exposed for 20 years. So it's not, there's condensation that gets behind siding, but it ain't that much, you know. And as far as I know, it does not require a code to do it. So I got 103 and a half, makes it 104 and a quarter. I had a guy, I won't say who, he may or may not be behind the camera right now. But yesterday, cutting his stair steps, never put this stuff over to the other side and got all of his finishers out of new fresh pieces. And I had a pile of scrap the size of a whole box of siding when I got back to look at. I had to look at it all day. It was sickening. Tried using as much as I could. Still not happy. Yeah. Uh, I got one more piece of glue. Alright. That's fine. I don't think I can uh, cut out of my steps anyway. I think this one needs to be a full piece. Next one. long pieces like this if you uh, move the piece out you can get your tape in and then move the piece back tight and that'll hold your tape exactly where you need it so I got to do 134 I'll go 134 and a quarter Just starting out and you're using a grinder i recommend not using a square you got a lot of play in that corner post but look at that i pretty much eyeballed that and that is about as good as it gets you can always check i i felt it go always check if it slides before you nail it. We'd have a lot less screw ups if some of the newer guys always check to make sure their piece slides every time we do some siding. But we're constantly, well, why does that corner not match up? How come the number on that window is different? You know, it, just, it just makes sense for the newer guys to be doing that, you know? Which one did you do? Perfect. 
Lizard. Full piece. You can put a full piece on, yeah. This is going to be little. Nope, that ran right where the other one did. Oh, First piece It was the one boy cup cut. He didn't throw it down here for me. I knew it. I knew something was happening. Starters on. You got one more starter, don't you? Yeah, I like really short, man. Short guy. Take a bench. Yeah, I got the same problem. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I really don't mind most of the time. Sometimes it's like, damn, dude. If I was like a couple inches taller. Yep. <laughs> Film me. Right, yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Very tough, you can't get to. <laughs> <laughs> is uh, is Trimothy the douche coming from the back? Uh, he must not have found any coil in my garage. Yeah. 
Yeah, he said if there's none, yeah. He said if there's none in there. Oh my god, what are you doing? He said if there's none in there, he's not coming back. Oh, really? 73 and a quarter. Kind of pulled that other number while I was there. I'm still plenty good in there. Get that piece on real quick. Three pieces. Can't you get that piece on? It won't, it won't be in the way, I can right? get this one off. It won't be in the way, That's right? it, though. Yeah. yeah. Put it on real quick, and I'm going to grab some J. Well, I don't think we... What? Oh, are we out? We got... Oh, no. Yeah, we got scraps. That's it, man. I ran short. Yeah, just a couple few pieces. Some... Hey, we could... Hey, we could just use UT like every other crew. Oh, no, I like, hate how that looks. Garbage, ain't it? I really don't like how that looks, man. Don't look no, right. It doesn't. I seen one of the house next to the one that Mike and I did together. They're siding. Oh, Jesus. 
Don't but the about siding, it. they fucking put the trim nails right on the siding underneath the J chain. Dude, I seen a video with like, like 300,000 views yesterday, and they did that. There's just some old guy talking about it. Yeah, like, looks like uh, shit. What the fuck? Yeah. It is what it is, though. Oh no! What did you do, boy cup? I don't know, dude. Did you just like? Did Why you cough ass? with your smoker's lung and oh, just hit right there on that black thing? tar? Like that. What the? What the that fuck is this disgusting. Man. What the well, hell, hell even is that? that? I don't know, dude. It's disgusting. It's really fucking dirt. You know? Oh, you're gross, man. This guy. Dude, you're gross. Ew. I don't, I don't want to get chalk on my hands. <laughs> dude, I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it, <laughs> I'm tired of it Grandpa. <laughs> Love it. You know what? That's a bad thing to say, man. Don't nail it yet, I gotta get to this point. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Right. You like it? Uh -huh. I can't see what the hole is. Oh, you almost nailed it, dude. I got too shocked. Ah. Oh, what are you doing? Nothing, I can't. I get it. I guess it's Uno Moss. What I love about this siding, it's such a good siding in Camden Point. It is. You got to experience that when you did that side job, didn't you? I just twice in a row. Oh, God. Just two, two side jobs. Same same exact siding. And it's it Menards, or it was from Menards, Menards or I'm not even going to say the other supplier. It was Menards. Yeah. Yeah, and, so. Yeah, it's the worst. We were going over, you know, like that four inch cedar. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we were going over, dude. And it's just not a. Yeah, this. So that stuff is normally really thin. Like, dude, I think Menard sells it even as a 3.8. This stuff is 4.4, and this isn't even like cream of the crop. I think they make 4.6, and I don't know about anything else. I don't really do that much research, you guys know. And that, dude, <laughs> that, <laughs> that stuff's really hard to fucking hang by yourself. Yeah, you pull pieces, well, exactly, because they, they, they try to fall out, right? They have a different yeah. locking uh, locking rib. Mm -hmm. So this has that, that curled rib that goes up and under. So you see I locked that piece in, and it's it sat there all by itself. It didn't fall off the wall. That other stuff, once you lock it in, it's like you got to stick your arm on it and all kinds of stuff. We get all sweaty. Look at it. I put my, my arm on that. That's dirty as hell. You know, so that stuff just locks right in. You got all the time you want to grab your tools out or do it, do whatever. It's so much easier. These can be a bit of a pain to get out. That's just why you got to make sure you're right the first time. Thanks for watching. We'll, we'll uh, update you guys and do a whole bunch of other things. You know, I just gave you like one thirtieth of what you need to know today, so we'll be doing more.